When I returned to Australia, uh, having got my PhD in 1949, um, <laughs> when I got back to Australia in 1949, I, I was invited to um, uh, collaborate with my chief, uh, Joe Pawsey, in writing a book on radio astronomy. Well, all I can think to say is that people do not notice what they see every day. We are not observant by nature. We are not like scientists who try to reason out what to do next. Genetically, we're, we grow up to do what we're told. And that proves to have been the way to have success in reproducing your kind. Ten-year-old boy sees some mushroom growing out there, the same as they had last night for dinner, and he rushes out and picks it and comes back. His mother will slap him and say, drop it. He's trying to be a scientist. He's exercising his curiosity to find out knowledge from, for himself, rather than gaining knowledge from an experienced elder. And kids like that died out. We do not have a, a driving scientific curiosity. Hardly anyone is a scientist and it's hard to teach them. But it's very important for us these days. 